What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak A13 and A12 devices using the Uncover iOS 13 jailbreak and you can install that using Alt Store. That is the method that I'm going to showcase today. Before we do that, however, if you have jailbroken the device that you're using before, then you might want to go in and restore root FS. You can do that by going into the settings of Uncover and toggling on restore root FS then going and hitting the restore root fs button it might not work the first time around like the jailbreak but you can see the second time or third time around depending on how many times it takes the snapshot is reverted it's going to go in basically get rid of cydia and everything that was jailbreak related on the device so basically it will put it back into a stock state and if you did previously have a jailbreak it's a good thing to just kind of wipe out any potential jailbreak files that are still on the device before you attempt this jailbreak. You can download it for Mac OS or for Windows. I have a Mac right here, so I'm gonna download it for Mac OS. One important thing to note is that you have to be on iOS 13.3 or lower. You cannot be on 13.3.1 because that patches the exploit that is used in this jailbreak. Also too, what's important to note is that 13.3 is the best version to have this jailbreak on. It's the latest possible version and it also works the best too. It was tested on 13.3 a lot more than some of these other firmwares. Some of these other firmwares like earlier versions of iOS 13 it might work with but the reliability might not be as good and right now as I'm recording this I also even waited a little while before talking about it because the jailbreak is just really buggy. It's kind of unstable and it's it's not as reliable as it should be and so you might have to try a few times before you get things to work properly so now we have to plug in our device to the computer and once we do you might see that it says that 13.3.1 is available we don't want that bad idea also make sure that alt server is running in the background right now and make sure your phone is plugged in then you can see where you have to go and install alt store on your device on your phone so make sure to hit that and then it asks for your apple id username and password if you want to create a throwaway apple id you can find a link down below in the description to help you do that but basically you just put in your apple id username and password here and you can log in with that and once you do that then it will start to install alt store on your device and from there once it gets alt store on your device we can go ahead and proceed with the next bit also here it says that alt store is already installed so that might happen if you install alt store a few times just go ahead and press continue and then you should see that it shows up on your device and from there you have to trust the application so then you go into settings general profiles and device management and then you trust the apple id and then from there you're able to open the application so you can go on alt store open it up and just kind of like browse around if you want to but the next thing that we have to do is we have to go into safari and from here you're going to go to uncover.dev that again is going to be down below in the description then all you have to do is hit the download button let it download in files and then once you do that hit the share button and hit copy to alt store and then from there it will actually ask you to sign into alt store with the username and password of the apple id that you originally used to set up alt store so from here it kind of walks you through how to do it and it says the different steps it says to launch alt server you have to make sure that alt server is still active on your computer while you do this that's something i almost forgot and i actually had to re-record this tutorial because i closed my computer the first time and then forgot that you had to leave it open to get it to actually install successfully. So you can see here, Uncover is successfully installed. It went ahead and it signed it and it successfully installed. Now we don't need the computer anymore. We can go ahead and unplug our device and close the computer. And now we can just go straight over to the device. And once we're there, we can open it. You can see Uncover is there. And from here, we can start the jailbreak process. Now I will say on the first initial versions of this jailbreak for A12 and A13, it does only work on A12 and A13 devices right now. So you're not gonna be able to use A11 and below, it's just not gonna work. So that's like iPhone 10 and below that, devices like that that support iOS 13, your best bet right now is gonna be Checkrain to use. And so this might work first time or it might work the 20th time. So you're gonna have to try this quite a few times before it actually works. And if it's anything like what happens with me, if you wait a little bit, that was what a lot of people advise, you know, wait it out, wait it out a minute, make sure the airplane mode is on, all this stuff. 
sometimes it still doesn't even work. So just keep in mind that this is very much the beginning of this jailbreak. It just came out and there's a lot of bugs and, and you're gonna have to try quite a few times before you get this to work. So now I'm gonna hit the jailbreak button and just instantly crashes. So didn't work the first time and might not work the first few times, but what I will say is the second time around, I tried with reloading daemons turned off. And once I did that, and I had airplane mode on and I waited a few seconds and I hit jailbreak. Once I did that, it did work. So try a few things out, experiment with a few things, try it a few times. Also one piece of advice that's going around on Twitter as well, if it still isn't working is to enable airplane mode, reboot it, don't touch it for 30 seconds and then run on cover. That's pretty much what I've been talking about, but yeah, I would go through that process and maybe try a few other things and then hopefully it will work. So here we are in the uncover settings and really quick, I am going to turn reload daemons off and I don't know why this works sometimes better, but for whatever reason it does. So we're gonna turn it off and then you can see as soon as I hit the jailbreak button, it actually does work this time and it does progress through. So you can see part one is done, it successfully created the snapshot and it's just basically saying it's successfully been created, press okay and here it goes and restarts, and that is part one finished. But now we have to also worry about hitting it again and making sure that it does its thing and it goes and it installs Cydia. So part one is finished with creating the snapshot, but then we have to go in and do part two. And sometimes this is where it can fail again because the exploit and the offsets and everything might not be as reliable as you potentially might think it is. And so that's the reason why a lot of people are having these issues. So just keep trying. And now we are back up and we can press jailbreak. And once we do that, you can see it progresses through. And you know, sometimes this might work for some people and sometimes it, it won't, but right now it is working. I will say also too, that there are a fair amount of bugs that are going on. When 4.0.0, the first version launched yesterday, there was a big bug regarding the app store and it just basically made it so that any apps that you tried to install from the app store would just straight up not install. Like it wouldn't install any apps from the app store. So that was a, a big problem. And uh, there's a temporary fix right now that uh, is in this latest version, but I think a more permanent fix is coming soon. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's some bugs. And if you're gonna be an early adopter to this jailbreak, then uh, you might have to experience some of those. But anyway, guys, this is super exciting. It's the iPhone 11 and it is jailbroken on iOS 13.3. You can see there is Cydia and we are jailbroken. I'm gonna get it out of airplane mode right now and I'm going to tap and open up Cydia. And I gotta say, it's really cool to see Cydia on a notch device, as well as all these other really cool creative tweaks that people have made over the past few years. And I'm just really excited to see everything else the iOS 13 jailbreak has to offer. I know the jailbreak is still sort of buggy and it's very much in its early stages. So if there's anything I didn't talk about in this video, make sure to let me know down below in the comments. But anyway, the iPhone 11 is jailbroken on iOS 13.3. If this video did help you at all or you enjoyed it, let me know by giving this video a like and also subscribe and turn that post notification bell on to never miss out on a brand new video. At some point pretty soon, I am going to be showcasing some top tweaks. So that also is something you're not going to want to miss out on. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.